Managing a difficult employee is one of the biggest challenges a supervisor can face. We're talking about individuals who are not violating company policy or breaking the law, but whose demeanor, attitude, and behavior are off-putting to others. An example of this might be a high-performing salesperson who is excellent when facing clients, but unpleasant when dealing with coworkers. A manager might be tempted to minimize this type of situation and hope it improves on its own, but inaction is a recipe for trouble. Left unaddressed, a difficult employee has the potential to do serious harm to overall workplace morale and productivity and can even drive other valuable employees away from the department or company. Let's take a look at how to address these circumstances before the damage is done. First, you must be responsive to the issues and complaints of the offending employee's colleagues. Don't brush them off. Document the complaints in detail and ask for specific examples of the behavior in question. Maintain confidentiality to the greatest extent possible and discourage the office rumor mill, which can only worsen the situation. Next, address the employee in question. This is understandably uncomfortable, but it must be done. Ideally, you will speak with the employee immediately following an incident so that the event is fresh in his or her mind. Be specific about the behavior. For example, instead of saying, you're impatient with John, say, you stood over John's desk snapping your fingers to get him to finish the sales report. And always keep in mind that you're addressing the behavior, not the underlying character of the person. From there, you can follow an established protocol of steps based on a progressive discipline policy. Start with a conversation or counseling session. If the behaviors persist, move to a verbal and then a written warning. At each step, ask the employee if he or she understands the effect of the behavior and spell out the consequences. For example, this is a verbal warning that you should not stand over John's desk demanding he produce a report. It's rude and disrespectful. If the behavior continues, I'll have to issue a written warning. Do you understand that? Document each of these conversations and include your notes and copies of any written warnings in the employee's personnel file. 